Okay, this is the main screen from Observium. Um, from here, you can actually see that I've got two systems set up. Uh, this has actually been fully installed and ready to go. Just wanted to show you what it looked like as a end product. Um, we'll go through the actual steps that we'll need to go through to get this installed. Uh, it'll be very easy and simple to start out with. Um, so we will go to that part right now, but I just wanted to show you what we're looking at to get to as kind of a final uh, outcome. Uh, here we can also see the health of the systems. Uh, there's actually the main dashboard. So we've got two devices up, and then we can actually go into each individual device and see what our memory is, what our networking is um, and over the last six hours. Um, so we get some pretty good information from here, and I think it's a really good and useful uh, thing for your Raspberry Pi uh, that you can use and set up. Uh, so we'll go through the install. Let's kick that off. Okay, the biggest thing for the Raspberry Pi, initially what you need to do is you need to install the Raspberry Pi Imager. Um, you can do it multiple ways, but I find this to be the easiest. Um, so basically, you just go to the Raspberry Pi software. Um, you'll click on the download link here. Um, download for Windows. If you're running Windows, Mac, or Ubuntu. Um, once you download it, you'll install it. And once it's installed, you will get this once you start it up. Um, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to do an initial install. Uh, so here we're going to choose our OS. Um, we need the other because we really don't want a full desktop. We want just a strip down, which is called uh, Raspberry Pi Lite. And then next we'll choose an SD card. Uh, we install this SD card. It's a 16 gig. We know it's the right one. So we're going to select that and we're going to write to it. And once you do that, it will destroy everything and erase everything off from that uh, device. So make sure you select the correct one. Currently now it's writing that image over to the uh, SD card. Okay, now it says that we've completed. Um, it's done the verification and installation of that. Uh, we're going to hit continue here. Okay, now we're going to log into the Raspberry Pi for the first time. And we're logged in. I'll make this so you can read it. All right, so we're logged in. I'm just going to clear all the lines here. Once we're logged in, the first thing we're going to do is run a sudo apt-get update. And basically what that does is it updates and reads all the package lists that are available uh, for the Raspberry Pi. Next, we're actually going to do a upgrade. This will take a lot longer. Um, I will fast forward through most of that. Uh, there's 15 upgrades and about 119 meg, it says. Kind of going through and updating those packages. Okay, it's completed updating those. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to uh, send a uh, reboot command. Once again, regular uh, Pi login there. All right, here we're just going to verify everything. So we're just going to do the upgrade to verify. And we've got nothing, so we look like we are good to hear. Zero upgraded and all good. Okay, next we're actually going to uh, use wget to get the install off from the Observium. And that's this little command here. Okay, now we're going to change mod, the install file. Next, we're going to actually uh, change to root. And go back into that home directory. And from here, we're actually going to run the installer. From here, we're going to select one for community edition. Here, we need to put in our MySQL password.
This will take a little bit of time. Okay, once that's been completed, it's asking for a username. This will be the one that you log into with. Uh, now it's actually asking if you want to do an SNMP config, and we're going to say yes to that. And now it's asking do we want to install the Unix agent. Um, and we are going to say yes to that as well. Okay, it says that it's all been completed, and now we just need to go to the web interface and log into the account that we created. Uh, so what we can do from here is we can actually minimize this, and we can go to the IP address there that we had for our server. Just put the IP address in of our server. Here we just need to put in our login information. And we are logged in. So shows our devices. We've got one up. Localhost. Linux. It's still polling, so we'll get some more information here in a little bit. Uh, we'll let that run for a little bit, and then we should have some information here. That's pretty much the install. Real nice and easy. And uh, that's pretty much it for this part of it. Uh, we will add another server. Um, I can show you how to do that real quick. Uh, basically here what you do is you go into your devices. All devices. And we're going to add a device. And this one here is going to be our server at 10.11.1.120 for me. Um, VCC, UDP, that's fine. Uh, we're going to use public. And add device. Or I think this is observed game, actually. Uh, so that it's devices added, so that's a good sign. And if we go back up to devices, we should see that one here slowly getting uh, found as well, just as like the other system. Uh, like I said, it takes a little bit to get the information. Um, I think it polls uh, every so often. So once we get a couple of those polls, we should be looking good on these systems. And they'll be added to Observe you. As you can see, it's uh, already gotten some information for these servers. Uh, and everything seems to be running fine on these. And you can click on them to see a little bit more information. Uh, you can see that it's gotten the information from storage, swap space, and all that type of information. And the graphs will slowly get populated here once it gets more information and it starts pulling it more. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video of setting up Observian on the Raspberry Pi. If you would, please like or subscribe. And I will be continuing this with the Raspberry Pi for multiple other projects. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you.